All right, this is our room at the Stratosphere Hotel in Las Vegas, also known as the Strat. And it's got two queen beds. It's uh, some gray carpet. Typical textured ceiling. Some nice wall coverings. Uh, very basic, a little bit of this fake wood flooring in the entryway. Some artwork on the wall. A telephone, an alarm clock, lots of ports to charge your devices in, a big screen TV with a decent cable TV hookup. It's uh, got a lot of different channels to choose from. A little luggage bench over here, some more artwork and a mirror. I mean, it's a nice room, but it's supposed to be a deluxe room. It really doesn't seem particularly deluxe or anything really fancy. But it's nice enough. It has a really nice smell in here. It smells really good. And the sheets are clean and nice and fresh. The bed's comfortable. You got ambient lighting behind the bed, which is kind of weird, but cool. A little closet space over here. And the bathroom facilities. Very basic. Again, the fake wood flooring. A really nice countertop and faucet fixtures, some shelves and towels. This mirror is pretty cool. It's got illuminated vanity lights built right into the mirror. And that's, I'm guessing they do it just by leaving a piece of the mirror unsilvered on the back so it doesn't look like a mirror. So it's clear glass with a little white frosting on the back. And then they just mount the light bulb behind the glass and it shows through on that strip. The walk-in shower is nice, but a little weird. You step up into it. There's a little shelf down low that you have towels and soaps and stuff on. A very tiny, straight-down facing nozzle. The glass on the shower doesn't close all the way. There's no sliding part to it. It's just open, which I find kind of disorienting and a little weird. I kept trying to find a way to pull it open, and I couldn't. There's this little hook here. I'm not sure what that does. There's a robe hook up there on top and a translucent glass panel in the door to the outside. So that's about it for the hotel room here at the Stratosphere. We're on the 19th floor. And this is, I believe, the tallest building in Vegas with the observation tower anyway up on top. Let's pull back the curtains here and have a look outside. The Stratosphere Hotel is not on the strip it's off to the side of the strip and if you look out over here to the west you see that's all part of the stratosphere over there most of these buildings over there i have no idea what they are the sahara is right there just across the street and about two blocks down the neighborhood around this hotel isn't particularly fancy or upscale, I wouldn't say. Um, the people told us not to go out the back door and walk around because that goes into a less desirable neighborhood of some sort. It's a lot of homeless people, a lot of abandoned buildings out there on the west, on the uh, back exit. Kind of actually reminds me of Flint or Detroit or Havana, Cuba, all the decay and run down buildings back on that part of town but this is the pool area here for the stratosphere like here there's a place down there called something in casino right there and it's just a tiny little building with a bunch of people milling around out front and there's a hotel attached to the back of it and look at that there's gaping holes in the roof of the hotel you can see Oops, right there, big holes. Uh, I believe that's a hole right there. And then this whole back wing back here has lots of missing shingles off of it. The building right behind that, the U-shaped white building, that looks totally abandoned. Big piece of concrete right there is the one of the base legs of the Stratosphere Tower that you can go up and uh, observe the city from. 
that's where they have those weird rides that go around up on top. There's like a little couple of thrill rides up there that you can ride that shoot you out over the edge at 1,200 feet above the ground. There's also, I don't know if you can see it here, there's a cable right there going up and down. There's actually two cables. And they go down to a harness. They pull them up to the top and you put a special jumpsuit on. They harness you to those cables and then you free fall like 800 feet. It's not a total free fall, it's a controlled free fall with, I say, the cables and a big gear mechanism and speed sensors, and it lets you fall, I believe, around 40 miles an hour. So it gets just a few feet from the ground, and then it stops you and lowers you very slowly the rest of the way down. And that's one of the big things here that thrill seekers can do while they're visiting Vegas and the stratosphere. So to sum it up, it's a pretty clean hotel, uh, not particularly fancy, and it's in an off-the-beaten-path location. So considering the price, which was quite high compared to a lot of the other hotels here in town, I think it was in the mid-200 range, I wouldn't recommend it. There's a lot of other places that are more conveniently located where you could spend less money and have a nicer room that I would recommend instead. But if you really want to be here for a day or two to take advantage of the thrill rides that they have, you get a nice discount on those if you're a guest at a hotel. That would be the only way I would really recommend staying down here in this part of town. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.